anything to do with Dissonin dye or Dissonin glass. It comes up with search results saying that it's basically illegal in like most countries and most areas, which is apparently due to the fact that when the dye is placed in between glass or a film of dye applied to a looking glass, it is supposedly said that it actually reveals a subject's aura. I found this brief paper on it from the British Institute of Radiology. You can find this on Google if you just type in Dissian in glass. Anyway, now there are versions of this all over the internet supposedly suggesting that if you buy this pair of glasses that have an element of the dye in it, you'd be able to see auras and essentially the paranormal. They're expensive and considering this dye is extremely hard to access, I'm really not sure how legit these would be. The chemical compounds that make up this dye can be found on Reddit, but let's just leave that to the chemists. <laughs> now the whole point of this is so that I can now show you this video that was taken in Russia found in random locations scattered apparently all across Russia. If you can speak Russian, please help to translate in the comments. That would really help. Обычные небо, обычные люди, блядь, ходят, все, все нормально. Оп. Вот такая. Вот они. Вот они, два шара. Тарелочка и два шара. Даже не заметил во время съемки, когда я снимал. Now let's also take into consideration the visibility of the human eye spectrum compared to that of other animals. Essentially the human eye's primary colors can be broken up into basically three. A mantis shrimp has 16 different color receptors compared to that of our three. So when considering all of the different species that seem to have such a vastly different perspective of the color spectrum, it makes a little bit more sense that there would be stuff out there that we aren't able to see. Which makes it so interesting to consider the possibility that there are things like these Snapchat filters and certain types of dyes that are really hard to access, what have you, that disconnects us from a certain portion of the perceivable human reality that we're based